This is Joy of Heaven, Saint of the Day for June 28. As we celebrate the feast of Saint Ionius's Day. Saint Ionius was a bishop who lived in the 100s 200s. He was one of the most prominent theologians of his time. He worked hard to fight against heresy. His works are said to have been one of the biggest factors contributing to the Church's triumph over the Gnostic heresy. Saint Ionius was born around 130 in Smyrna, Asia Minor, modern-day Turkey. His parents were Christians, and he was raised in the Christian faith. Little else is known about the early life of Saint Ionius, but it is apparent that he was greatly influenced by Saint Polycarp who had known the Apostles. Ionius became a priest in the city of Lyon. From 161 to 180, the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius had the Christians in Lyon persecuted. Many of the clergy in Lyon were imprisoned for their faith, but Ionius's superiors sent him to Rome around this time. When Ionius returned from Rome, the bishop, Saint Pontinus, had been martyred. Ionius then became the next bishop of Lyons. Once the persecution of Marcus Aurelius was ended, a period of peace for Christians followed. Ionius used this peaceful time to devote himself to his pastoral duties and to missionary activity. Though little is known for certain about the specifics of his missionary activities, many of his writings from this time are still in existence today. Nearly all of Ionius's writings were directed against the Gnostic heresy, a heresy that placed excessive emphasis on the importance of knowledge to attain salvation. He found that this heresy was gaining great traction among his flock when he became Bishop of Lyon, so he devoted himself to exposing the errors of this heresy. The most famous of Ionius's writings against Gnosticism was Adversus Hereses, which contrasted the beliefs of several different schools of Gnosticism with those of Orthodox Christianity. From Ionius's writings, it is apparent that he had come across some Gnostic writings and had conversed with Gnostics, probably in Rome or in Asia Minor. His writings also allude to some Gnostics near his home in Lyon. Ionius's writings against Gnosticism were widely circulated and quickly translated into Latin. His writings greatly contributed to the halt of Gnosticism spread throughout the area. Apart from his work combating Gnosticism, little more is known about Ionius's work as a bishop except that he asked the Pope to refrain from excommunicating a sect of Christians in Asia Minor. Ionius most likely died in the end of the 2nd century or the beginning of the 3rd century. He is honored as a martyr, though details of his death are not known. He was buried in Lyon, but his remains and tomb were destroyed during the Reformation. Saint Ionius does not have an official patronage, but he is a great saint to seek prayers from in many circumstances. You can ask Saint Ionius for prayers on behalf of your bishop or a priest, since he was a very holy bishop and priest. You can also seek Saint Ionius's prayers if you are a theologian or a Catholic writer, since he was a prolific theological writer and his writings did a lot to combat heresy. Additionally, Saint Ionius is a great saint to ask to pray for church unity, since the church in his lifetime was becoming very divided and he worked hard to restore church unity. From Joy of Heaven, thank you everyone, you may also make a novena, and we inviting you to please try to click the thanks button for your comment to have an amazing, colorful and wonderful animation. God bless us all. Thank <laughs> you.